Greetings in Dubai from the Eastern Nigeria. Another update for this Tuesday. Three soldiers feared killed, ten others wounded in ambush by ISWAP terrorists in Brono. Now the issue of terrorism in Nigeria is not going any longer. It's not going again. It has come to stay. That is what it means. If at this time that Buhari is leaving office, he has just barely two weeks to vacate that place. And now you still have this kind of attack on the armed forces of Nigeria. It then means it is, it is all over. The fight against terrorism has been completely washed. The Nigerian troops has been defeated. There's no doubt. Okay, you feel that they have not been defeated. That's what you feel. Look, Buhari said he would destroy Boko Haram within three months. He would destroy them completely and nothing will remain of them. He would chase them away. So we are in the last lap of his administration. Just like we said, just barely two weeks. The attacks on military, not just civilians. No civilians, we're not talking about civilians. Before he came, it was majorly on civilians. Civilian population, they said it was on soft targets. Soft targets, that's what we were saying then. But this time around, it is on the military. Even like Mohammed once said, oh, Boko Haram has been technically defeated. Like Mohammed is the Minister for Information in Nigeria, he said Boko Haram has been te technically defeated. The insurgents that have been technically defeated and so, uh, and the, so they are attacking the soft targets. That's where they're going. So they have been chased away. So they are just, you know, retreating and uh, finding soft targets to attack. But we are in this last lap, the twilight of the evil regime of Mbuhari Mbuhari. And this is still happening. So it goes a long way to tell us that, look, these people have been defeated by these terrorists. Because they've allowed them to, 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 to infiltrate the military. So what then? Since we said Afghanistan is bound to happen here. So those people who are saying obedient, Obi, what Obi is Obi going to inherit this kind of thing? This kind of banana republic. No amendment can work here. It's unamendable. You can only talk of starting afresh re-establishing this country. Let us know where we are coming from and where we are going. Or even where we are. We don't even know it. Let's know where we are going. Let people say, look, we want to stay or we don't want to stay. Okay? So now, three soldiers were reportedly killed. Like we said, 10 others sustained various degrees of injury on Sunday as they were repelling attack on their convoy by the Islamic State of the West African province as well. Terrorists in the northeast of Abadan in Bono State. Now, according to a counterinsurgency expert and security analyst in the Lake Chad region, Zagozuara Makama, the troops who were part of clearance troops, clearance operation against the terror group comprising Sector 3 and Sector 4 Multinational Joint Tax Force, MN JTF, came under attack by a vehicle brown improvised explosive device while advancing towards his swap camp in Tunbum Reza. Now, the intelligence source said that the joint troops responded with superior firepower and successfully fought off the ambush, but that one of the VBIED hit an MRAP, mine-resistant ambush protected vehicle belonging to Nigerian Republic troops of Sector 4 MNJTF, while the others hit a Hilux truck. According to the source, the terrorists also suffered significant casualties, although the exact number is said to be determined. That's what I said now. He said this attack comes in less than 24 hours after the troops thwarted a similar attack in Arege, resulting in the killing of 10 ISWAP terrorists and the destruction of their terror vehicles. The ISWAP terrorists made an audacious attempt to infiltrate the advancing troops' harbor using a vehicle born improvised explosive device. FB, VB, IED, but was instantly neutralized. So, this is what the military is saying. But we have known the truth. Don't mind the account, we have just told you what is happening there. 
they are fighting to reclaim their dignity. This is swap, this Boko Haram, this insurgents, this uh, you know, this uh, you know, bandits. They have just mesmerized them. Mesmerized them. They have allowed themselves. These men had infiltrated them. You know what Buhari did before he came to power. Those things are haunting this country. They were all, you know, all, all out to grab power at all costs. They want to get it. The southern man is the president. Why will he become the president? You see, this mutual suspicion has to stop. In fact, I honestly speak, it will not stop. It will not stop. What this country requires is just non dimitics non dimitics to your tent, oh Israel. That's the panacea. That's the panacea. Look at what's happening in Bono. Look at what is happening in Casino. Look at what is happening in, happening in Kaduna. Look at what is happening in Zafra. Look at what is, what is happening in, 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 uh, in Kogi. In Niger. You see, the entire North West bandits, the entire North East Boko Haram and this one, the entire Benue that's Middle Belt or North Central, talk of henchmen. Terrorist henchmen migrating from Chad, Niger, uh, you know, to Senegal, Mali, and uh, what have you. Destroying lives and property from the Andes, making their entrance or en route to Enugu, the east, and making their route Kwara, Elorin, to Ondo, southwest, navigating to Niger Delta. So, so you see, as they move the same way, they move towards Delta, and uh, so. Every Nigeria is being rounded up. From Ebony, they navigate straight, they enter Ogoja, cross river and everything too. Nigeria has been rounded up. Because of power hungry people, because of these mutual suspicions, you will dominate me, I will not dominate you, you I will dominate you, you will not dominate me. Start from the right foundation of Nigeria. So there's no basis for this unity often touted unity. Let Nigeria tell themselves the reality, the truth. Every day people are being killed. Every day people are being killed. Every day people are being killed. What is responsible? Well, I've said it. Separate people. Separate them. Let them go their diverse ways. There's a solution. That's why the international community must rise to this occasion. The IPOB and other BFI agitators has been calling for a referendum. Why don't you come and do this? So that Nigerians will stop dying. Because what IPOB is calling for, is not just for themselves, for, for Nigeria. Let other ethnic nationalities who want to go, they, can, they are free to go. Even Nigerian military have said it. The officers, military officers, have voiced it out and said, look, people who feel marginalized and treated in a bad way have a right to move out to succeed from this contraption, it is their right to be enshrined in the Constitution. So, the United Nations, European Union, and America, United States, have to do the